We've got three members from the UNA All-Decade Women's Cross Country Team with us for this roundtable discussion. Thanks to Kara Nix, Emma Knight, and Phoebe Moon for taking the time to catch up with us. We're going to go around and hear from all three cross-country runners about their careers at UNA and what this honor means to them. And Emma, we'll open up with you. As a recent graduate, you got your degree from UNA. How sweet was it to sort of cap everything off with one final honor? I honestly, I kind of didn't even know what to expect. Um, just like with COVID and everything. So that coming out of nowhere, it was just like the perfect end to kind of everything that has happened. So it was an awesome honor and one that like, I don't think I was expecting. So. And Phoebe, over to you, two years running at North Alabama, second team all conference selection this past year. What was your reaction when you found out you'd made the all decade team? Super excited. Also, this is, I don't know, y'all. I know y'all are recording, but there's a puppy and it's barking and it's my roommate's puppy, so I'm really sorry if you hear squealing. <laughs> it was a big honor. It was a really big honor. Feel free to grab the dog. I, I think everybody loves puppies, so I'm sure people would enjoy it's it. It's so cute. It's like nine weeks old. It's so sweet. Uh, Karen, next over to you. Now you've got one more season to go at UNA heading into your senior year, but picking this up, how nice of a surprise was it? Yeah, that was awesome. Coach was telling me it was going to be released like the day before, and I, I was like, oh, it'll probably be like so-and-so and so-and-so, and I never listed myself, so to like see my name on there, it was really, really a great honor, but it's a nice little last push in the senior year, a little, little adrenaline rush to get me going. So for Kara and Emma, you guys came in when UNA was at the Division II level. Now all three of you guys ran at the Division I level. What's so neat about you guys all making the team is you guys were all all a Sun selection. So let's just talk about that. And Emma, again, we'll go to you first. And I don't know if you realize this, but first year of Division I, you made it on the all a Sun team. You might have been North Alabama's first ever all-conference pick at the Division I level for any sport. Have you thought about how special that is? Um, I do remember, like, briefly, like, right after I crossed the finish line, coach was like, you're going to be, like, the first all-conference runner, like, in a sun for UNA, and I think, like, the more that I look back on things, the more of a big deal they seem like than they did in that moment, but it is pretty crazy to think back, like, I, like, I, I wasn't even, like, trying at that moment, but then just to have that to look back on was pretty cool. And Phoebe, for you in your second year, making the second team this past season, how special was it? It was so exciting. But like Emma said, you didn't think it was that big of a deal when you were there. But like now that you look at like back at it, it's an awesome deal. And then having like your teammates there with you and stuff, it was just awesome. And it was a great feeling. Kara, you as well were a second team pick this year. And again, when you go back first year of Division One, two rather, the last two years at Division One, how cool was it to sort of pick up that honor? Yeah, it was awesome, especially because when we were Division Two, I was never even all conference. So stepping up to Division One, everybody kind of assumed we would never have those honors again. So to have all three of us have it in like our first two years of Division One, we kind of stepped up to the plate and kind of showed people what we could do. So that was really fun. So I want to go around next and hear from all three of you about what maybe some of your favorite moments were from the last handful of years of running across the country. And I'll leave it open. So whoever wants to go first, just – Take us through some of the highs of the last handful of years. I mean, for me, I met some of my best friends. Um, all those girls, I know, like, they're going to be at my wedding one day. They're going to be cheering me on in every step of life. But I think just the first year of Division One, getting to be part of that transition was probably one of the most memorable experiences. But, yeah, just the overarching, the girls you meet, the people in the athletic department we've met, those are relationships I couldn't have had if I didn't run at UNA. So I'm definitely really grateful for those. I want to second, like, the little – Kara and I kind of like to call them, like, our little joys, like, the little mundane things. Like, even just as awful as it sounds, getting up at 545, like, we had some of the craziest, like, little practices and moments and just, like, quirky things that I'm sure any sane person at 545 in the morning would have been like, are these people, like, okay? But we had the, like, the best time just, like, warming up and, like, running and – um but then one specific thing that I want to point out is the first um, home race. As a senior that year, last year, I will always be grateful for that meet. Um, and that is kind of like one meet that stands out to me. Even like with conference and all the races that we went to, like that one meant the most to all of us. I think I can say that confidently. But um, 
yeah, just to see like our community rally around us and have like our people in our place, like where we would do endless mall repeats. Like it was pretty insane how awesome it was. So I think one of my favorite memories is the weight room. And I think Karen and Emma can both agree, like that helped us out so much. I didn't know I needed weight training that much until I went to the weight room. I would hurt the next day a lot, but it was really like, it really did help in the end. And we just had fun and we jam out to music. It was just so fun. And Steve and Tia and Spencer, they all helped us out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so there were five other members to this team, some of which you guys ran with, some of which you might just know by name or maybe seeing their names in some of the record books at UNA. But what was it like seeing some of your teammates and some of the other names on this big list for any of you guys? I can say I was, like, proud. I saw those names and I was like, I know these girls. I ran with these girls. Like, even – I think there was one girl that I didn't know. And so just to be able to say that, like, I knew all of the other girls and ran with all of them, like – as much of the honor as it was itself, like just knowing all those girls and knowing that, like I know the hard work that they put in and know that they deserve this award. So that was pretty awesome. I think it's really cool that like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like, I think it's really cool that like all, like you, me, Emily, like it, you, like, both of y'all like I think it's really cool to see all of us come from kind of the same team in the same four years I think that's what's really cool yeah that's what I was going to touch on just the fact that like half the decade team was coached by Jeremy uh Jeremy Province our current coach kind of speaks to him as a person and him as a coach and the four of us probably wouldn't have been on there if it wasn't for his guidance so that was really cool just to have all four of us on there with him that was really fun so we'll wrap this up. We appreciate the time. We'll go around and just get a parting shot from each of you. So Emma, we'll open up with you. Uh, you got your degree just a few weeks ago at UNA. So update UNA fans on sort of what's next for you. Yeah, uh, hold on. <laughs> I'm currently in dental school. I've got my teeth here because I've been studying all week. But yes, I just graduated with my degree in chemistry. I'm in dental school at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in Memphis. Um, we have our first test in two weeks, so we've been studying nonstop, but it's a little crazy, of course, um, not being on campus and everything, but we're getting it done. We start labs tomorrow, so it's really exciting, and hopefully we had a doctor in four years. We'll see. That's the plan, <laughs> but that's a little update. Best of luck. That's awesome. Congratulations. And, and Phoebe, still in school, just update UNA fans on what you're majoring in and what's next. Yeah, so I am planning on applying for nursing school in, for the spring semester. So I'm just in, at UNA, just having a good time, I guess, and just really looking forward to getting back on campus if it's normal, because I've missed UNA. I've really missed it. And Karen, next one more year, you sort of just touched on this, sort of motivating you heading into your senior campaign. But first off, let us know what you're majoring in and, and sort of how you're using this to prepare for one final go. Yeah, so I'm finishing up my major. I'll graduate in May um, in industrial hygiene and chemistry. It's a double major. Pre-med, I just started applying to medical school. So that's going to start ramping up here soon. So hopefully I'll be like Emma and be a little doctor one day. But yeah, all of these experiences I've been able to take with me and hopefully end on a really good note here in the next year. But I'm excited. Three outstanding individuals. Thank you guys so much for catching up with us.